Hello, I'm Bruce Schulte, professor and department head of biology at Western Kentucky University. I'm accompanied by Ms. Lynn Von Hagen, who recently completed her Master of Science degree in biology at Western Kentucky University, working on the project we are about to discuss. Hello, I'm Lynn Von Hagen. Our team of researchers, graduate students, and professional field scientists are conducting research on a prominent problem where people and elephants coexist, human-elephant conflict in the form of cooperating. In this video, we are looking at aspects of our project located in southern Kenya near Savo East and Savo West National Parks. The project is supported by the International Elephant Foundation, the Lounsbury Foundation, Earthwatch, Wildlife Works, and Western Kentucky University. Farmers in much of sub-Saharan Africa rely on their crops for their nutrition and their income. Many species of wildlife may invade their fields prior to harvest, but no species can do the damage in a single night as that done by elephants. These largest of land mammals consume vast quantities of food daily, can move long distances in a single day, are intelligent, and they can be extremely dangerous. Together, this is a recipe for trouble when farmers try to confront elephants in the dark of night. African elephants serve as ecosystem engineers and they are a vital part of the natural landscape. While big eaters, they are not the greatest at digesting their food, so when they defecate, they disperse seeds complete with fertilizer. Their foraging modifies the habitat, changing forest to savanna over time. Elephants also are capable of finding and unearthing underground water sources in times of drought. Our past work and that of others has shown that elephant activities such as foraging and digging for water can enhance biodiversity, aid in the survival of other species, and facilitate secession. Elephants also are a favorite species for tourists and their presence serves as an important draw for international visitors. However, most local people would feel quite happy with no elephants around their farms. There are basically two major challenges. First, to reduce the negative impact of elephants on people by reducing crop rating. Second, to educate people on how maintaining intact habitats is beneficial both for themselves and the wildlife. Together, activities that overcome these challenges will facilitate the long-term conservation of elephants. Our project is working on both fronts. Deterrents need to be affordable, practical, and safe for people to install and maintain, as well as be resistant to elephants overcoming or ignoring their deterrent qualities. Electricity is rarely reliable in rural areas of sub-Saharan Africa, so high-voltage electric fences are neither affordable nor practical. In addition, such permanent fences create issues for the movement of wildlife. Deterrents that rely on biological components, such as chili peppers or bees, may not be practical in some regions because the peppers are not easy to grow, or beehives cannot be established due to varying environmental conditions, such as droughts. The actual construction of the chillier bee fences also involve efforts that may be impractical in some regions. Our experiments are testing several deterrents singly and in combination to determine what works best in our area, and then we can take the best solutions and expand to other regions for testing. We also are working with local people, from school children through village elders, to improve attitudes and behaviors towards elephants and the native habitat. The Sassini Primary School is the local school in our study site, and we conduct outreach activities here to not only assist the school children and teachers, but also so we can be most effective in assisting other areas as our project expands. If you would like to join our team as a citizen scientist, you can do so through the organization known as Earthwatch. Ask about our program entitled Elephants and Sustainable Agriculture in Kenya. If you would like to further our research through your support, you can do so through targeted donations to the International Elephant Foundation. Thank you for caring and thank you for your support.